God has been in his great mercies speaking to us his precious counsels from the time we have gathered in this place. I know that we may be tired physically but if our spiritual man is alive and active to the Spirit of God we would not miss out anything that God has for us. Remember one thing, if we are to ever receive anything from the Lord, there are many battles that we need to uh, fight and overcome in order to lay hold of things which are eternal in our lives. If everything is going very smoothly in your spiritual life, in your walk with God, there is something wrong with your life. That's what a man of God says. If we are truly walking with the Lord and ascending into those heights in Christ unto which we have been destined in Paul, we are going to face many, many battles and struggles and atrocities. And that's why the Lord would call his remnant church an overcoming church. You know, so may God help us that we all would be in that place of overcoming. There is always something that we ought to, we need to, we have to overcome in order to keep in step with what the Spirit of God is doing. So, may God help us. If you have come to these gatherings with a real open heart, truly hungry to meet with God, surely God will meet with you on that very ground. That very ground on which you want to meet with God, that very ground He will meet with you. If you are lukewarm, and that is the way you will meet with God in this place. But if you are really warm and you are hungry, you are thirsty, you have an intense pain in your heart, as your heart is panting for the waters, then that's the way God is going to meet with you. You know, the Lord Jesus said, I have yet a baptism to be baptized with, and how much I'm pained that it be accomplished. We know that he was baptized in the water. He was baptized in the Holy Spirit in the sense 
as thou, you know, rested upon him as he was baptized in the water, which is the significance of an anointing that Christ received even at the waters. You know, so Jesus Christ was baptized in the water. He was anointed uh, in types and shadows there by the Holy Spirit. And yet he says, there is yet another baptism that I need to be baptized with. And he says, I'm pained. You know, there is a pain within to accomplish all that the father has for his son, even though it's a way of suffering. You know, we, we need to have a kind of spiritual pain within us. A pain that all that God the Father has may be accomplished even if it means suffering in greater proportions. And I want to say, dear brothers and sisters, the Lord will take His church, the body of Christ, not only through baptism in water, not only through baptism in the Holy Spirit, but even through the baptism of fire in these end times, which the Son Himself went through in his life. And the Lord will have His glorious ride in preparation a people for Him who will be pained in their hearts until that baptism of fire is accomplished in their own lives. You know, this is God's design for His bride to be for His church. The church is still singing today and desiring for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Today morning we were also singing the same song. Did you sing? There's no. There's no. Chulapa. Nalla chulunga. Yeah. We are still part of that multitude. Many a time singing and confessing those very things from which we must move on further into something far higher, brothers and sisters. It's very necessary. How I wish that there could be some of us who could bring forth and, and compose many songs of this realm in which God is calling His church to live. I want to say, may God help us that we would keep our eyes on the Lord and intensely desire for that encounter of God in our own lives in these days. And I want to say, brothers and sisters, there is so much we need to come into even concerning our worship. So much. There are many things we need to leave behind 
and move on to a higher realm in, the, in, in our worship in these days. And it's only the Lord who can help us, provided we are sensitive and open to the Holy Spirit whom God has given unto us to lead us into those heights. Now I am not sharing these things to discourage any one of us. But if we are moving on, there are things we need to leave behind. That is so essential if we are to stretch forward and move onward in Christ. Now, coming back to our meditation in these days, the Lord has been very specifically speaking to us. How the Lord will arise in the midst of His people and encounter God's own people and bring about a work in the midst of His people. How the Lord met with the church in Ephesus and told them how that vibrant church that stood for the Lord and His purpose at one time it's now become cold in their hearts towards the Lord. They lost their first love. And if they do not change and repent, the Lord would have to remove them from their position and calling. As we heard, God is good and merciful to us. But we also need to know that God is also a God of severity. We need to realize this. And how clearly we see the Lord came to that place with regard to the church in Ephesus. He did not consider anything. He did not consider, after all, it is my precious and great apostle, the suffering. The man who suffered much for me, who brought forth or birthed this church in Ephesus. You know, saints, we need to know that when God would arise and challenge His own people, He is going to be very ruthless in that sense to make sure that Nothing remains with the church that is unacceptable to the Lord. We saw the example in the days of Jacob. Where Jacob met with the Lord, he called that place Bethel. Which means the house of God. But that very house became a place of idolatry after several centuries. Yes. And we have many examples of that kind in the scriptures. And we saw that Bethel today stands for the church in the New Testament. And how the church realm has come into that same thing where the church has become a place of idolatry. 
എങ്ങനെ ദൈവഭവനമായ സഭ എന്ന ഒരു വിഗ്രഹാരാധനയുടെ സ്ഥാനമായി മാറിയിരിക്കുന്നു എന്ന് നാം കണ്ടു വെൻ ദ ഹോളി സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഹാസ് വാസ് ഗ്രീവ് ആൻഡ് ഫ്ലോൺ അവേ ഫ്രോം ദാറ്റ് പ്ലേസ് ദേ ഹാവ് റീപ്ലേസ് ദ ലോർഡ് ആൻഡ് ഹിസ് സ്പിരിറ്റ് ബൈ മെനി അദർ തിങ്സ് ദൈവത്തിന്റെ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവ് ദുഃഖിതനായ ആ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവ് എന്ന പ്രാവ് പറന്നു പോയപ്പോൾ ആ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവിന്റെ പ്രവർത്തനത്തിന് പകരമായി മറ്റ് പല കാര്യങ്ങളെയും അവർ സഭയിലേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവന്നു ദൈവം പല കാര്യങ്ങളും നമ്മുടെ ഇന്നലെയുള്ള കൂടിയവരുടെ അവസാനത്തിൽ ദൈവം തന്റെ പ്രകാശത്തെ and and ask us a few things how is our gatherings how are our gatherings how do we gather together unto the lord and i want to say brothers and sisters we have to be very very sensitive we cannot take things for granted anymore in our lives nammude jeevithangal nam valare samvedana sheelathil ullavarayirikkanam kaaryangal anusaramaayi edukka saadhyamalla you know the time in which we are living demands us to be a serious people than ever before in the past in our lives kaniya kaalangal ellam കാണപ്പെടാത്തവിധത്തിൽ Like a weeping Jesus arms He tried the Pharisees With one blow He shall bring ungodly down See the sun See the sun See Him judge the church Right before our eyes See His love the sun story right before our eyes that the sun story right before our eyes neither buyers will be left nor sellers will be there in the church that Jesus Christ the veil the thieves and hypocrites shall be judged by the church shall be purged from their mind see the sun see the sun see him judge the church right before our eyes see his love see his love that the sun restore right before our eyes sun see the sun see him judge the church right before our eyes see the love see his love see sun story right before our eyes that the sun story right before our eyes that the sun